All the perfumes of Arabia will not sweeten this little hand. So clearly Lady Macbeth has some other issues going on here, but it really got us thinking. Yeah, hauntings and witch prophecies aside, can you actually wash your hands too much? <laughs> You know how it goes in this crazy life. One second you're merely encouraging your husband to get a little more serious about his career. The next, he stabbed the king to death to win his throne, and you have to plant the bloody daggers to frame the servants. Before long, he's jabbering about prophecies, and you're busy trying to scrub imaginary blood off your hands. Those guilt-manifested stains may not be going anywhere, but your skin definitely is. On the extreme end of the spectrum, excessive scrubbing can actually wear away your skin, the same as if you took a sheet of sandpaper to it. Individuals who suffer from obsessive compulsive disorder sometimes wash their hands until they're red and sore or actually bleeding. If you found yourself experiencing similar symptoms from repeating grooming rituals, see a healthcare professional. But repetition isn't the only potential scrubbing risk to skin. Remember, skin thickness and sensitivity varies across your body. While it's perfectly acceptable to occasionally take a pumice stone to the soles of your feet, you would never want to apply the same skincare technique to your face, where the skin is far thinner and more susceptible to damage. Likewise, some skincare products are specially formulated for use on sensitive skin areas like the face, incorporating more sensitive ingredients and gentler exfoliants. Even with the most gentle cleanser products, there's a limit to how much scrubbing a face can take. Fortunately, however, scrubbing isn't a major contributor to damaged skin and wrinkles. The main culprits are cigarettes, chemical irritants, and, oddly enough, facial expressions like smiles and frowns. Still, the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention warns that washing and scrubbing can only make you so clean clean. After a point, your skin can actually become too clean. For this reason, irritant contact dermatitis is an occupational risk for healthcare professionals who frequently wash their hands and use gloves. Excessive scrubbing can wear away the stratum corneum, the outermost skin barrier. If this barrier is regularly breached, skin dryness, irritation, cracking, and other problems may result. Damaged skin also tends to host a higher number of pathogens. So don't get too carried away with your personal hygiene regimen, and by all means, don't get too heavy-handed. Otherwise, you'll find yourself facing rather diminishing returns on cleanliness, to say nothing of sleepwalking around some dreary Scottish castle. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out these three videos as well. And don't forget to visit us at StuffToBlowYourMind.com. But what is disgust? It can emanate from nearly any source, something tactile, a noise, a smell, a scene. The increase in anti-vaccination parents has led to a resurgence of diseases that are normally preventable. Have you ever sneezed and wondered, man, I wonder how long these germs are going to last outside of my body.